Day one way, maybe to exercise Ooh. indoors. Our Jill Bellman hanging out at SAIT this morning, hanging out with the Trojan men's volleyball team, Jill. Yeah, we've got the guys and the girls here on board and using some technology, technology meeting sport here at SAIT. This is pretty cool. So they actually use a photo radar to measure the speed of these serves. There's also a vert calibrator that me measures the vertical of how high these guys can actually jump. Big game coming up here at SAIT for the guys and the girls on Friday. Nice. And you might recognize John, who participated in a hockey segment that we did here at SAIT not too long ago. I would say this is John's stronger suit, being from Melbourne, Australia. Okay, so Dan, the head coach here at uh, for the SAIT Trojans, you've got some numbers to share with us. Tell us what you got going on. So we just recorded some uh, some serving speeds of our servers here, and uh, John went up there and uh, ripped a serve at 95 kilometers an hour. That's impressive. That's pretty good, actually. Our uh, standard for spin serve is about 90 kilometers per hour. Anything above that is uh, is just gravy on our team. Okay, now let's talk about the vertical here and what have, what have you measured for vertical. So this is an app on your phone, and this is cool. You're new to SAIT this year, and you've brought these uh, different technologies in. Does this give you an advantage using these applications? Absolutely. You know, they, they help in giving the athlete the uh, feedback and uh, an appropriate feedback for what their their potential is and what they're actually doing uh, in terms of the speed of their serve. And we use the pocket radar for that. And then we have a uh, what's called the vert sensor. And the vert sensor is good for measuring the vertical of the athlete. So we can measure their maximum vertical, and then we can actually measure what their vertical is when they're doing the skill. So, for example, we've got uh, uh, John... Uh, with the vert sensor on his hip right now, okay. and uh, he just jumped 31.2 inches. Uh, his max jump since he started serving was 32.8, okay. and his average is 32 inches. Fantastic. Okay, give us a sense of how high this is. Uh, well, 32 inches is, is close to uh, three feet, just under three feet. Yeah. Um, John's max vertical uh, was would probably be in the high 30 inches range. Yeah. Uh, so as long as he's coming in within a few inches of that when he's spin serving, that would be good feedback to him that he's getting up high, uh, nearly as high as he can. Okay, high as he can, and height would equal speed then? Right, yeah, so we, we combine the two of them. If you're jumping high, you can hit the ball uh, harder, more direct down to the ground, uh, and then we also measure the speed, and uh, as we mentioned, he had a spin serve there uh, that was uh, 95 kilometers an hour, which is pretty good. That is pretty fast, and if you're on the other side of the net, that is coming at you fast. You guys have a big game coming up on Friday. How's the season been going so far? Yeah, so far our season's been going really well. We're 10-6 and six going into the final weekend of league play. Uh, that's put us in a position to uh, finish third in the ACAC if we win both on this uh, weekend, and we think we can do that. Uh, and, and overall, we've had a great uh, great season. We've been ranked as high as third in Canada and currently uh, sit at sixth place in Canada. So uh, we're excited to, to move into playoffs and show what we can do. Okay, fantastic. Uh, we're going to be using the serve machine in the next segment. We'll tell you how fast that goes compared to how fast the humans serve. And you guys might remember that I also did a vertical test not that long ago with mm -hmm. Helen Upperton. Mm -hmm. John, 32 inches. I My vertical, 24 centimeters, which is just a mere nine inches. Oh, well. <laughs> I have a ways to go. They have some height on you. They I think do. that's the big part of the equation, There's a lot right? of physics behind that, too. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yes. More from Sait in just a little bit. Also still to come, beauty blogger Hannah Sait joining us in the studio. The best beauty finds under $10. What? I know. Even you might be excited about this. Check it with Jill Bellin right now. She's hanging out at SAIT this morning with the Trojan men's and women's volleyball team. They're counting down to the final weekend of their season. And Jill, you get to use a cool machine. Yeah, cool machine. Here it is right here. It's a photo radar. And we've been measuring some speeds here. Uh, so here we go. This is a surf machine. 106 kilometers an hour. Whoop! Heads up, everybody. <laughs> we saw John serve earlier, and he was at about 95. So uh, this is an interesting tool that you guys use, Brady. And tell me why you guys use this machine. Well, we can come in during pre during the day to work on passing, and we we don't need a whole team of people to practice passing. We can just use the machine and get a lot of reps. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So what kind of drill are we seeing the guys do right now? Right now we're just working on serve receive to attacking, and then this simulates gameplay where we have to pass the ball well so that we can set the ball and then hit the ball off the set. Okay, fantastic. Uh, tell us a little bit about your season and how you guys are faring heading into Friday's game, end of season, but you're guaranteed a spot in the playoffs. Well, we've had a pretty strong season. I mean, few players coming back from last year, so we've done well with a pretty new team. Playing my old team yeah. this coming weekend, very exciting. Awesome. Looking, 
looking for some wins. It. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, who are you taking on on Friday? Lakeland College. Lakeland College. And you played on that team for three years. You joined the Trojans this year. Yes. Any conflicting emotions heading into Friday's game? I'm ready to win. <laughs> ready to win. Yeah. Against your old school. All right. Uh, it's going to be. It's going to be fantastic. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the dynamics of this team because you really have kids from all over the world who are on this team. The dynamic is everybody's just trying to work as hard as they can for the good of the team. We're all looking to just do well and finish the season on top. Finish strong. Okay. And what position do you play on the team? I play libero. Okay. And what is that? What is the ro your role on the Trojans? I do primarily passing and defense, so I look to have a strong first pass for the setter so that we can run our offense. Okay, fantastic. Uh, your coach, Dan, was showing us some of the technology that he uses to help you guys train throughout the season. How has that helped you in improving your game? It just takes out some of the human aspect of training. We can just go through rep after rep with the machine. We don't have to worry about people missing serves or anything. Yep. So we can just go hard and work on specific parts of the game. Okay, fantastic. Uh, he also has an app uh, that demonstrates play by play. So you get to see your playback immediately. Is that helpful also? Yeah, you can see where you're going wrong and what body positioning movements you can do differently to fix anything that is wrong. They call him the professor. <laughs> Why is that? Dan really puts a lot of work in everything he does and takes a scientific approach using all the different gadgets that we use. So it's very interesting. Uh, you can check out the Trojans this upcoming Friday, <laughs> the guys and the gals. We've come unplugged here this morning. <laughs> We're going to show you some more technology that the Trojans used here this morning. Cameraman Nick suggested that he launch his camera out of the surf machine, see what kind of shot we get. What do you think, Ted? Oh, yeah. Let's see what kind of shot we get. It's a one-time thing, though, because the camera will be smashed. Very expensive, too, by the way. Thanks, Jill. We'll check in with her one final time. Also coming up on Breakfast Television this morning, we're going to hear what a 313-year-old cello sounds like from our friends at the Calgary Philharmonic Orchestra. There you go. That and more. You're watching BT this morning on City. Well, right now, she's been getting warmed up all morning. Yeah. I think I'm ready for a spike, Jill. Hanging out with the, tra uh, the State Trojans. <laughs> All right, we're going to spike home this morning some notes here from Dan the Professor, the nickname that he's earned. And we're talking about uh, a, an app that you actually use. And tell us about this app, Dan. Right, this app is called Coach's Eye, and uh, we use it to give feedback to our athletes in real time. So Danica was just out there doing a drill, a setting drill, and I'm just going to give her a couple points uh, of feedback. Uh, this is a common thing that uh, setters do. Uh, if we watch her uh, shoulders here, she's doing exactly what she should be doing in that she's facing the left side when she's setting, cool. but when she sets the ball to the right side here, we can see that her shoulders are not facing the left side anymore. Okay, so Nika, when you go back out there, face the left side in all your sets. Okay, okay. let's get that done. Right. Is that helpful? Yeah, that's a really helpful. I like seeing myself on it. Yeah, and you can do this instantaneously, really. So, okay, thanks, Danica. Very, very good. And we're going to see if she can make those corrections here based on the notes that you've given her. So, this is cool. Would you use something like this in everyday practice? Uh, absolutely, yeah. Everyday practice, uh, you can show stuff to the team in terms of how the team is playing, and then we can also uh, show stuff to individuals. And when an individuals come in for stuff, uh, individual practice during the day, we often uh, pull out the coach's eye as well. Okay, the coach's eye. This is cool. So, Good. are you seeing the changes that you indicated? Right. So, we'll bring Danica come back in. So we can watch now, and we'll see if we uh, we actually see those changes. So we said we wanted to make sure that we were squaring up to the left side on all our sets. So there we see squared up to the left side on a left side set and squared up to the left side on the right side set. So that's exactly what we want. So the change is immediate and uh, that's how we progress our athletes uh, quickly throughout the season. Awesome. High five, sister. Good job. Danica taking notes, as we can see based on the video evidence. Okay, this is great. What else would you use this tool for? Well, yeah, like I said, we can uh, we can record uh, serving, we can record passing, attacking, we can look at our setters' consistency in the location of their sets, whether it's uh, uh, too tight, whether it's uh, too far out, too far inside. So there's lots of feedback we can give athletes, and we can also give team uh, feedback uh, in terms of the alignment between our defensive players and our front row players, uh, block defense, uh, and uh, we can uh, we can use it uh, early in the year, and we can use it late in the year. It's a really useful piece of uh, technology that we bring in often. Okay. Have you seen quite a few changes from the team from the beginning of the 
year since using these things and progressing through the season? Absolutely, and definitely in terms of the uh, the individual work that we do uh, with uh, practices that happen uh, throughout the day with athletes, that's where you see it immediately. It's nice and it's it's very easy to call in an athlete uh, one on one, show them what they need to change, get them back on the court, and uh, have them immediately change it. Once they see themselves do it in video, it kind of locks it in for them, and uh, they know what it feels like, they know what it looks like in their mind and in their mind's eye, and uh, that allows them to, uh, to to keep it in there for the rest of the season usually. Make those easy corrections, coach. I have to say, there's some photo bombing going on here behind the guys. The guys you guys might be goofing around behind your back while you were explaining this very important technology. I uh, just wanted to call the guys out on that. Thanks very much for having us here this morning, the Trojan Volleyball Program. The girls play on Friday as well as the guys uh, 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. game time, guys. Uh, tomorrow, Jill um, is lacing up her slippers, Ukrainian dance moves.